Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a travel vlog about where I went with my family the other year and that is Singapore. So this is a very big tourist attraction country and I suggest you go there after Corona obviously. But, but now God knows if all those things are there because of Corona. And uh, and if, even if you go there after Corona is gone, God knows there might be somebody who with a new virus. So, but I'll tell you about it anyways. So first, when I arrived to Singapore, I came to a hotel called Royal Plaza on Scots. There are lots of hotels everywhere, and the first thing you should do is probably get a map about the whole place, as I have done. So you can see all the hotels and the legends are down and you can see the whole of Singapore and and then I gone I this is a five star hotel but if you want you can go to whichever hotel you want four star three star I'm not going to judge you so then let me get started with the sites over there so if you do not see this tourist attraction, you have not even been to Singapore. And that is Universal Studios, which it has seven theme themes. Far, far away, Madagascar, Sci-Fi City, New York, uh, Ancient Egypt, and the Lost World. It is awesome guys, please go here. So, for this is for the pa parents and a, if you want to take your 6 year old child to the roller coasters and the attractions, you can go to the far far away section over here. And that's, uh, that's good. And Madagascar, they've got a lot of junior rides. And, uh, and but, if you are just an adult or you are a 10 year old kid or above, you can go to everything else. Everything else is awesome. So, l let me get started. So, if you are an adult or more than 10 year olds or 8 year old kid, you can go to these roller coasters in Sci-Fi City and Ancient Egypt. In Ancient Egypt, it's Revenge of the Mummy, in which you have to go in a roller coaster that's totally dark. And then in Sci-Fi City, there are two roller coasters in the same same place. So there's mm, Battlestar Galactica Human Red Track and Battlestar Galactica Cylon Grey Track. So then these are also awesome places. But remember, if you are in good physical and mental health and you you don't you don't vomit your guts out after all these kind of coasters please go go here but if not then do not go here and then the entrance to the park the, to this place is through the hollywood lane where there are lots of shops and eating places and and don't worry about the restaurant because they're here only somewhere every everywhere in every Madagascar far away far far away in New York Sci-Fi City so don't worry all this is in Sentosa Island and I stayed in a hotel called Hotel Mike Michael overlooking as uh, Universal Studios so then I could see the uh, Universal Studios in front of my balcony so that was very nice it was all good accommodation and all that so when you're going for these rides please make sure you're going according to your age because the age restrictions are all written here in the maps and be sure to get the maps first because if you don't watch for all these things it will be an utter waste of time to just be in the queue and then figure out that you can't go for the ride and the, and then the, I really like the Lost World Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure and if you are going there please be aware that you will get a splash in this and then I even like the Transformers ride in the uh, Ultimate 3D Battle. I'm a big fan of Transformers so I wanted to meet him and it was shown on the TV that I can meet him there. So I told my dad that I want to go here so he took me and then that's very nice. So then that's all for Universal Studios. I'll move on to the other things now. 
In the Transformers ride, I really met Optimus Prime and Eva, and I really liked it, and I thanked my dad for that, and I really lived the experience in that 3D ride. So I really like that. I give five stars to Universal Studios. So be sure to go there. And now, let's go on to Singapore itself. So then you have some uh, skyline luge in Sentosa Island. The it's skyline luge in Sentosa in which you go in a cable car first, and then you reach some place where you can go go karting over here. And it's not a race; it's just a joy ride. And they'll tell you how to operate it and all that. And I write this to a five star thing. So let's move on to something else. I really like the Skyline Luge ride, and I went in it, and I could really drive it by myself, no parent. Me and my dad, he went in one go kart, I went in one go kart. It was absolutely ecstatic in the dark. So now let's go to something else. On Central Island, there's also I Fly Singapore over here. And then in this you can defy gravity at only dollar and dollar ninety nine. My dad paid it three times so that I can get get to a total of five minutes to do indoor skydiving. It's really like the real skydiving, and it was wonderful. I even got a certificate for flying over there, and I really liked it. And it's all thanks to my dad that I got it. And I was in third standard when I did all this, and it was really good, uh, awesome for me as I was a uh, third standard kid by then. You, they give you a class before you go inside the skydiving room, and you really have to pay attention to this class, and it's for half an hour or one hour. I paid attention, and that's how my life was saved in the real thing. There's air blowing from up, and you feel like somebody dropped you off from the helicopter. And uh, my uh, diving coach had to hold me so that I don't fly off. And then eventually my shoe did fly off, but because it wasn't tied properly, so be sure to tie your shoe properly. And they also give you a proper shoe suit. I got a pink suit for some reason. And it was really fantastic, guys. You don't after you get this, you you feel like you've already jumped off a helicopter or a plane. And the, and it was fantastic. You bet. This ride, this uh, diving is really fantastic, but it is expensive at the same time. My dad gave me three times so that I can fly so so much. So I really like my dad, and I thank him for that. So, but if you are not worried about the money, you just want the experience. So then go for it. It's eighty nine dollars. So just so you know. And I got a certificate and all, and it was really worth it. Hello, everyone. So now we are going to the zoo parts, and first is Jurong Bird Park. It has the number of species there is five hundred. There are twelve thousand animals, and the annual visitors per year is nine hundred thousand. At twenty thousand meter square, it's a walking aviary in as the second largest in the world. So it has a number of sections such as the waterfall aviary, the it which focuses on the birds of Africa. It has eighty African species, and it has the African glossy starlings, the turquoise, and the white necked for rockfall. And there's lorry loft in which you can feed the lorries. And it's really like they are in their own habitat, and we're just having a stroll through the park. You can just feed them; they'll come to your hand, and they'll eat the food which you provide them. They'll provide you the food you have to give them. Don't bring your own food to feed. So that's Jurong Bird Park. I really liked it. It's fantastic if you love nature. And there's even the night safari. Oh my God, this is awesome. We had to go in a buggy, buggy through the zoo, and it's almost like we are a one-line buffet for all, all, all of them. So don't make any sound. And if you're taking pictures, don't use the flashlight a lot, because there are no cages for all them. Okay. So that's night safari. There's even the river safari, and this is very great. You can see the all the sharks, the hammerhead sharks, the 
Sahel Shah, everything that it's very nice. You feel like you're really in the sea. And I went to and in the water park over there, I went in a and in a small ride in which they have created a coral like environment. And I went in that. I was thinking my parents were coming behind me and I, I'll, if I drown, I'll be saved by the life jacket. Only when I swam to the other side, the instructor told me that my parents were still there on the other side and I and the life jacket will not save me. So uh, the only reason I came there because, is because I knew how to swim. Again, thanks to my dad. So that was nice. And then there's even Singapore Zoo where you can see all the animals and all and it's in the same place as night safari so in the day you can go to sing the zoo and in the night you can use the go to the night safari we went to the singapore zoo first and then by the time it was over we uh, it was night safari time so we went and then in the middle of the night safari the buggy is the wheel got punctured and then uh, the lights were off the power was off we were uh, we were literally buffet for whatever was out there and then that was really scary for me and my parents and then the information center had to send a spare wheel to us from all the way from there and and then finally we got a spare wheel and when they turned on the lights we saw we were next to elephants and lions so that was pretty scary and then don't forget to go to marina bay where you can go to merlion park and there's a there's a small shop over there in which you can go in a hover scooter and that's what i did it was really nice there's a little bit of park here where you can go and it's a very clean place everywhere the whole city is and there's even this hotel called marina bay sands from where you can watch this garden this gardens by the bay and it was really awesome please go there and it's an it's a nice walk for you if you're running over there a lot of people run over there because there's not a lot of goods there so that's also good and there are even cute trains everywhere if you want to get to places fast fast they'll give you a map of, to from where to where and it'll be in different colors saying the where this train goes to and all the stops on the way so that's good and then if you need some food and if you're vegetarian you can go to 7-eleven you can get the sandwich materials and all that but my advice just take food from home which is better and so yeah i really have my dad to thank for uh, in this trip because he paid a lot and it was a really nice experience i enjoyed it a lot and my dad has taken me all over the world and i'll talk about those places in the next part of travel walks so enjoy so until then please like share and subscribe so bye